In this video, we'll demonstrate vertical and horizontal privileged escalation using Foundstone's Hack Me Bank. This is basically a purposely vulnerable web application used to teach people about web application security. So first up, we'll look at vertical privilege escalation, and I'll log in as the John user here into Hack Me Bank. So you can see we're logged in, and the John user can access an admin section, but first has to respond uh, to a specific challenge. And if we don't provide the right response, we'll get this error message here. So now let's lo open up another browser logged in as the Joe user who has already successfully responded to the challenge. And so now ha the Joe user has full access to all the admin functionality. If we look at one functionality in particular, the SQL query function, um, the Joe user has full access to this. And there's a specific URL for this uh, function. So if we copy this URL and then flip back over to the John user's account and simply paste it in, you'll see that we have full access to this functionality. And this is sort of a forced browsing problem where the application doesn't validate that the user has successfully authenticated to the admin section. And so you can see here that we have full rights to uh, execute the queries and perform all the actions it, without having to respond to the challenge. All right, let's look at horizontal privilege escalation. So rather than trying to get additional privileges like access and admin section without properly authorizing ourselves, we'll see if we can access other users' data. So first up, we'll log in as the John user, or I'm sorry, the Joe user. You can see we're logged in here, and if we go up to the top into uh, My Accounts to view some of the account details, you'll see we have two accounts uh, ending in 01 and 02. And we have their respected balances for each one of those accounts. And then if we go to view uh, the transactions, you can see we have a number of transactions here uh, for the various things that Joe has spent money for or transferred money from. But now if you notice up in the URL bar, the account number is listed as one of the parameters uh, provided in the URL. So what happens if we were to change this account number to another account number, maybe from 01 to something like, I don't know, 04. If we press enter, we'll get different account details. So whose account information is this? We have to try to figure that out. Um, but they're definitely not Joe's account details because we saw all of Joe's account details. So let's minimize this and then we'll load up another browser. Uh, I'll use Firefox here. And we'll log back into Hack Me Bank, but this time, instead of use, logging in as the Joe user, we'll log in as the John user. So I'll just enter my password here, and press Submit. And you can see, all right, now we're logged in as the John user. And let's go to, uh, to my accounts here and see what sort of account details we have. So if we look at the different account numbers that the John user has, we have one that ends in 04. So let's view the transactions there. And sure enough, it's the exact same transaction. So from the Joe user, we're able to view the, the John user's accounts. And we can confirm this by flipping back over to Internet Explorer. And sure enough, they're there. All right, that's privilege escalation.